Hey guys, this is the Holy Art Rock Guy with you once again. And we're here in the Firelink Shrine that we just discovered. So I think uh, before we explore further in here, we should check out the rest of uh, the entrance here. Because I know there was uh, at least one character with a uh, Japanese sword over here. Just want to see what's over here. Wow. Surprising. That dog snuck up on me quickly. Didn't expect that. Hey, an item. An ember. I wonder if we'll be able to get into that castle eventually. That's kind of where we came from uh, originally. I kind of wanted to say hello to this katana gentleman over here. Um, but first let's get deal with these guys so they are not a problem. That's well enough. It might, you might be able to access the other area. Oh, this is where you can go. I wonder what those embers do. I'll find out soon enough. Yeah, this is where I was. I'm trying to get over here. It's always neat to explore in Dark Souls when you don't really know where things are. This is... This is a real treat for me. Hey. Homeward Bone. Very nice. You know, it's, it's interesting in these games, people will find uh, sort of platforms you're not really supposed to jump through and it kind of breaks the game and then the From Software will come out with a new patch and, and then suddenly you can't, you can't jump in those areas anymore. Hey, where'd the uh, sword wielding gentleman go? Is he hiding? Or maybe he left? Here's a, uh, hey, an Uchi Katana and a master's attire. I guess, uh, he didn't want to live, but that's his problem. Well, let's see here. Well, it goes up a little bit. I can't use it though, because I think I probably lack uh, the dexterity or strength and dexterity to use it. So I'll have to stick with my uh, axe for now. That's okay. I wonder if eventually we'll be able to get on those roofs. You never know with Dark Souls. Uh, any any area could kind of be a platform. Oh, now I can see the blood stains. And poor gentleman died. Oh well. Let's go back to Firelink Shrine and do some more exploration. I don't think we even uh, exhausted the Fire Maiden's dialogue. Ashen One, 
Produce the coiled sword. The mark of ash will guide thee to the land of the lords. To Lothric, where the homes of the lords converge. Ashen one, to be unkindled is to be a vessel for souls. Sovereignless souls will become thy strength. I will show thee how, Ashen One. Bring me souls. Ashen One, to be unkit sovereign, I okay. will show thee how. Apparently we've uh, exhausted her dialogue. Let's see what this gentleman has to say. I wonder if somebody tried to uh, attack him. Let's see. Could this be rubbish? We'll find out. Ah, another one roused from the sleep of death. Well, you're not alone. We unkindled are worthless. Can't even die right. <laughs> Gives me conniptions. And they'd have us seek the lords of Cinder and return them to their molding thrones. But we're talking true legends with the metal to lick the fire. Not fit to lick their boots. Don't you think? <laughs> well, if he's not the crestfallen warrior for this game, I don't know who he is. What a sick joke. Asking us to seek the Lords of Cinder and return them to their molding thrones. At all. <laughs> what a sick joke. Asking us to seek the Lords of Cinder. We're talking true legends. But... <laughs> okay. Crestfallen much? There, uh, there's a throne here. Wow. Some swords. All right. It's like so many choices, I don't really know where to go. But we gotta choose something, so let's go this way. I would imagine that eventually the NPCs you meet will show up around here. I'm hearing something off in the distance. I wonder if that's the blacksmith. What a gloomy place. Let's say hi to the uh, guy from Dark Souls 1. Well, a newcomer, I see. I am Andre. I serve at this shrine as a humble smith forging weapons. A toilsome journey, I'd wager. You require good arms. Let me smith your weapons. I am a smith. Such is my purpose. Oh, he reinforces your Estus flask as well in this game. Interesting. But I don't have an Estus shard. Interesting. So there's two kind of Estus flasks. Let's see what uh, this is about. This is the Nestus flask, and this is an Ashen Estus flask. Restores FP. What is FP? Well, I guess we'll find out sooner or later. Does that have something to do with the uh, sword arts? Dunno. 
Let's go in these little back areas. I like how my guy has little flames. Oh. That's a lie. Nice try though, me over here. Illusory, illusory walls, is that how you say it? They, they, they can be in places in Dark Souls. Illusory. Okay. Looks a bit far for me. Yorm the giant of the profaned capital. What a chair. It's like the throne of want from Dark Souls 2. Does that have to say? Is King Lothric's chair. Interesting. to a new place. I guess I go there. High Wall of Lothric. Here I come. Yes, this is all new. This must be the uh, the chalice thing from Dark Souls 1. Interesting. Well, it's all kind of a dead end. Well, I'm disappointed that you travel to your uh, locations. It's a bit of a cop-out, instead of having it actually connect to Firelink Shrine. High Wall of Lock. Guess there's just one way to go. That's uh, not uh, ominous or anything. They're praising the sun, hey. Right on. You always wonder why random furniture is just hanging around in Dark Souls games. What's over here? You'd think there'd be a a secret. There's some people down there. Let's say hi if we can. We can go around here at all. Maybe not. Oh, good. Ouch. These dogs are a little bit more... Wow. I got snucked up on. But I'm not too far back, and I can probably pick up my souls. So all in all, there's no 
ultimate damage. I'll let those dogs come to me. Seemed like there was a bow and arrow guy over there, too. Yep. What do you know? Fool me once, shame on me. Okay, where was that uh, axe-wielding gentleman? Take them one at a time. Okay. Suddenly, I'm not as powerful as I once was. We have to do some uh, leveling up. Because I don't even think I have no more Estus flasks. Wonderful. Where is that bow and arrow guy? Well, it seems like the... Uh, man. Wonder if I can get to him over here. That's nice. Well, I'll remember that next time. Where are you, doggy? You can definitely tell when you've run out of stamina in this game. Um, you just stand in front of the bad guys and feel like a joker. Let's see if there's anything over here. No? Did I see something? Is there a dragon that I should be concerned about? I guess not. It's always good to uh, be cautious when you're progressing here. There's a there's a guy. Wow. These guys that are a little, little bit more tougher. Come on, let me walk onto you. Okay. I should probably cash cash in all these uh, deserted corpse souls that I've accumulated. Let's see what's in here. It's probably coming back from here. From another place. Once I discover another area, I'll probably be able to come back through that door. Okay. 
Well, I've just got one little swig of my Estus left. Let's see what happened to this guy. Be wary of tough enemy. Well... Might as well give it a shot. What's with these slimy dudes? Recover my souls. Drink a swig. Which one of you changes into the big, uh... You know, fire. Fire is a good solution to anything. Titanite shard and an ember. Wonderful. Long bow and standard bow. That's cool. And I can't use it yet because my dexterity isn't high enough. I figured as much. You know, I don't really feel good attacking these poor guys. Anything over here? Illusion ahead. No. You people are liars. Can't go up this way. I saw it to head back. That was interesting. I don't want to deal with you. I just want to return to the bonfire. Alright guys, that wraps it up for this episode, I think. Uh, so tune in next time to Screen Geek. Bye bye.